Hey guys, it's Billy and I'm coming at you with episode 19 of another dumpster diving adventure. As always, I will show you the behind the scenes first and the actually on the dives, and then at the end of the video, I will do a full overhaul of all the different treasures that I found. Now, before we start, do me a quick favor. If you're new, please subscribe and let me know by liking this video and commenting below so this way I get a little hello back. I really do appreciate the support. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, I was so excited when I saw these pants, but then unfortunately, they slashed them as well, right up the middle of the leg. I didn't realize until I got home. Over here, I ended up stopping because I saw that milk crate on the crown, and I was like, okay, I gotta take this for organization, it's perfect. And I was gonna take a little look in the dumpster, but then I got the fright of my life, and I realized that there is a, a dead frozen raccoon right under it, so uh, I was like, nope. Now, unfortunately, I could tell another diver had already gotten here before me since it was really picked through and usually these dumpsters, especially at this location, are always packed, but glad for them, although if you are going to dumpster dive, do not leave garbage on the ground. It drives me crazy. It's the biggest pet peeve, and this is why dumpsters end up getting locked, and then it also gives dumpster divers such a bad name, but okay, my little rant is over. Up first from Barnes & Nobles, we have this Harry Potter Hermione Granger wand with illuminating tip. Now, I have not tested this, but I have to admit, I was so excited when I saw it, I actually couldn't believe it. When I was like 13, I wanted this so bad, it was $29.95, so just shy of 30 bucks, and I uh, definitely need to do a little unboxing and give this a try later. Also from Barnes & Nobles, I found this mini volcano lava lamp. You could operate it with batteries. On the theme of Harry Potter, I also found this quill pen, uh, which is like a nice little tip for a calligraphy set, so I definitely want to start writing all of my letters and only using this pen from now on for all future forms of writing. Over here, this is a picture frame, nothing's wrong with it. I got this from Big Lots. Together, you and me, that's right, baby, with a clip on top. And then moving over, we have some uh, chocolate that I also found from Big Lots. So 350 for both of these. These are some salted caramel cascade squares. And then I also have this variety of mint caramel and cacao. I'm assuming that's just cocoa. Y'all, I took it out of the packaging and oh yeah. Bippity boppity boo. <laughs> Ooh. I wonder if I could see with it in the dark. Hold on. Oh my god, how cool is this? Next time the power goes out, don't you worry. Oh my god, this is so cool, I love it. Okay, the only spell I could remember is Lemgardium Leviosa. Oh, Lemgardium Leviosa. Lemgardium Leviosa. Lemgardium Leviosa. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> oh. And now up next, we have this beautiful tabletop. As you can see, the tag is still attached. 
And when I found this, it was actually completely wrapped still in the original packaging, but the legs were obviously not attached to it. And I'm assuming it was thrown away for this thing right here. But the cost of this was $1.99 and it still has the drawer right here, which works perfectly. And when I was there uh, at the dumpster, basically I found one of the legs, but I couldn't find the other three. So I don't know if they were just buried down so deep or if they were just throwing them out on a separate occasion or whatever the case was. But I'm just going to make my own legs for this because I figured this was a perfect score and I could not resist taking it. I figured it would be great to add some legs, put some plants on it, something along those lines. And then up next, we have this little instant mini volcano that has batteries that you just put in it. And so this way it's like a little DIY fake lava lamp. Also from Barnes and Nobles, I have these little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer socks, which still have the tags on them. These were $19.99. They say damaged, but I don't see anything wrong with them. So I'm going to throw them in the wash. I figure I could definitely give those to someone. And then moving on, we have this little guy was also at Barnes and Nobles. So I will be donating him. And then from five below, I found these two ankle weights that were thrown away. The packaging was still in there. So they're brand new. I'm going to give them a good wash. And then I figure we could use them. And I'm lifting some intense gains right there with some ankle weights. Also from five below, I found not one, not two, but three different phone cases. It's crazy. I mean, they throw away phone cases like it's their job. Here's the third one right here. And as you can see, there's nothing wrong with them. So I don't know why. A lot of times they're like, they look like they're still in their original packaging, but I mean, it's easy to give away to other people or try to sell. Also some screen protectors, which they always throw away as well. And usually they're not broken. They're all perfectly fine. And then lastly, this little wallet, which I can also give this away. So it works out great. I love being able to save items from going into the landfill, save them from just being wasted. These new slippers are thrown away from five below. Bed Bath & Beyond ended up throwing out an entire display of all their towels. Now, as you could see, there's clearly this line right here. So this is the part of the towel that's usually out on display. And then this is the part that is tucked back. And so I ended up taking these because I knew I could just use these for hand towels since I'm just taking scissors, cutting it right up there. And now I have perfect hand towels to use around the house, the kitchen. You could use them when you're working out, which is great. And also, you know, with all these extras, I could give them to friends, family, and also donate just because there are so many. This whole bin is filled with them. They did spray paint some of them and they used, started using uh, like this brown cream spray paint at this location. So that's why I'm not skeeving uh, the discoloration. Otherwise, if I didn't know that, I would be a little on edge, but they didn't spray all of them. But as you can see, they did spray a few. I've already taken the towels and I've already put them through the wash and I've already put them through the dryer twice just to kill any potential creepy crawlies. But this is a huge score for me uh, because it's, I'm just so glad to keep these from just going into the landfill. And also the thinner material, I could still use these for projects around the house and they could come in handy. So works out great, especially since these towels are so fuzzy, they're so comfy. They are all this brand and I will say they have very nice towels uh, and it's like your way to get free mini hand towels and you're saving them from going in the garbage. Total win-win. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy these kind of videos, I have a full playlist on my channel of over 19 videos at this point of different dumpster diving hauls from different stores. So check those out. All right, until next time.